day, 14 children die by gunfire. The average age of the children being killed is 11 to 17. The average age of their killers is also 11 to 17. Most of these kids have yet to go to their first prom, and yet they say they need to carry guns for protection, and that all their friends have them too. These kids say it is the only way to survive. Meet S-Dog and T-Bird. They both run with a gang in their hometown. S-Dog says you need a gun so that the others know who is boss. S-Dog is 13 years old. T-Bird has been carrying a gun since she was 10. She says you gotta bust them before they bust you. T-Bird is only 14 years old. Also meet Michael. Michael says fighting with fists is old fashioned. Either you have a gun or you're going to lose your life. Michael is 17 years old. And LaShonda. LaShonda says, always have to, you always have to be prepared, so she even takes her gun to parties. LaShonda is six, 18 years old. 18, 16? 16. 16, 16. Now, S-Dog, I'm going to start with you. Why do you feel like you need a gun? Well, everybody else has them, but if you don't have one, then, I mean, it's either shot or shoot someone. I mean, they're going to shoot you, but if they shoot you, you're just going to shoot them before die, I mean. So you're saying that every one of you, your friends has a gun? Just about, yeah. So how do you go about getting a gun? Well, my homeboys give them to me. <laughs> so they just give them to you? Do you have to pay money? Do you? Yeah, well, see, they have the money so they can buy them. So they buy them so you can protect yourself? Yeah. OK, T-Bird, what about you? Why do you feel like you need to carry a gun? Because it's kill or be killed. That's how I see it. It's like, if I don't have a gun, then somebody with a gun who's mad at me will shoot me before I can shoot them. So what would it take for someone to be mad enough at you? I mean, you're laughing, but in their neighborhood, this is, this is the way it is. What would it, where, you're asking where are they from? Where are you from? We're from Denver. From Denver. <laughs> Excuse me, have all of you been to Denver? Yes. Yes? Now, what would it take? I mean, you say if someone's mad at you, they can, they can take out a gun and kill you. What would somebody get mad at you enough? What, what would you do that would make them mad enough to want to kill you? We're in a gang. You're in a gang? Yeah. So it, it, just because you're in the opposite gang could be means enough for them to shoot you? Yeah. Reason enough? Well, I mean, I have a homegirl that's a crip, but I grew up with her. So her name is um, Little Drive-By. So. How did you, yeah, how did you yeah. learn, how did you learn to shoot a gun? I learned from my homeboys. They shot, they shot. So have either of you ever shot at anyone? Yeah. You yeah, have. <laughs> yes. I said, have you ever killed anyone? I don't know, no. No? What do you mean you don't know? Because, I mean, we would shoot into crowds and stuff like that. Oh. Of crypts, of K's. But still, they're still human beings. So yeah. they do the same to us. They do the same to our homeboys, our homegirls. OK, what is everybody reacting to? Yes, stand up. I would like to say, if you're, why are you in a gang if you know being in a gang is going to cause you to lose your life? Why not get out of the gang and just try to foster some kind of unity in your community? You don't know our lives. You don't know where we are. What is it like for you? Tell us. What is your life like? Well, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know by us just... Tell us. Educate us. I mean, we want to learn. We want to know what it's like for you. It's like every day we wake up. It's like war. It's like <laughs> you all can laugh, but you don't know. You know, as you get older, you realize the stupid things that you've done, and you think back and you say, "Wow, that was so stupid." But it's gonna—it's like it's gonna be a shame that you're not even gonna get older. You're not gonna be able to get older to see that. You have to wake up. That's not right. It's not right at all. All of y'all. You sitting here. What are, what are these kids supposed to do? They say that all of their friends have guns. I mean, what are they going to follow the pack? You got to be different. You got to be your own person. You're sitting up here with your mad faces.